Hello YouTube, this is Wyfangs Tech. Today we're going to do an unboxing video of the Blue Diva 2. It's, um, Diva, or, yeah, I believe that's how I pronounce it. Anyway, this is a really budget phone. From the box, you can tell it's not your typical $500 smartphone. It's just a basic phone. For around, roughly about $20, depends on who you buy it from. I bought it from Amazon for 13 bucks. This is the yellow color one. They have all different kinds of color. The different kind of color they have different prices so be careful on that so yeah on the side you see there's 2.4 inches this is the basic like the features 2.4 inches screen GSM quad band VGA camera TV TV okay I'm really interested how that's gonna work you basically you can watch TV on this anyway Bluetooth 3.5 millimeter headphone jack micro SD card and calendar well, basically constant calendar as well as main features. That's interesting. Alright, it's a Diva 2 here. It shows the phone front and back. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright, now let's unbox it. Or my little unboxing knife right here. I'm gonna slice it right from here. Alright. All right, let's open it. Uh, it's a little text here. That will focus. Yeah, you can see it. It said before turning on, charge for 24 hours. Okay, before turning on, I have to charge it for 24 hours. So basically, I can show you this. Maybe we will see. All right, you're being greeted with the phone right away. It's a yellow phone. It's the cheapest version. That's why I ordered it. So let's put this aside. Let's put the phone aside. We will get back to it later. So now there's more documents. We have um, a little startup guide, shows you take dual SIM card, charge for 24 hours before starting it. On the back, there's more information, just tell you where to put the card and how to charge it. Oh, you can li actually listen to FM radio with this. Yeah, this nice little booklet right here, really nice. Alright, we put this aside. There's more documents inside to show you, whoa. Yeah, to show you like the detail for beginners, guys. If you're giving this to your grandparents or someone who needs a budget phone, yeah, like they had to, they need to reload that to install the SIM card. But we know what's happening, so we toss that aside. Uh, more documents. This is like the official guide. It's really thick. It actually tell you what's happening with all the keys and menus. If you want to read it, it's, yeah. I don't think you, anybody will read that. Now we have a cable. I believe it's a micro USB. Yeah, it is. It's a micro USB cable. Wait, is it? Uh, no, I don't. Wait. Yeah, it's a micro USB cable. Let me let me see. Yeah, it is a micro USB cable. I got confused for a bit. Yeah, it's really nice to include that because it works with most Android phones. So, Put that here is more in the box, and we have a charger. A nice little block charger is being rated at 5 volts, 0.15 amp. That's really low, but it's good for this type of phone. It's not your smartphone or anything. And last, we have our battery. Really small battery. It's being rated at 820 million power, which is pretty good for this type of phone. So yeah. Let's try to turn this on. Yeah, I know they're telling you to charge 24 for 24 hours before start using it, but I just for demonstration purposes we just leave that all aside. All right, so let's take it out from the plastic. All right, nice little phone right here. The back is just like do some plastic. It feels like leather, but it's actually plastic on the side. It reminds me of the Galaxy Note 3 a lot. Like, you see the size, you see the frame, it's, um, it's like, uh, it's like pages. Yeah, it's basically like Galaxy Note 3. It's just, um, pleather, that's how they call it. Plastic leather, pleather. Pleather feeling. It actually feels pretty nice. Pretty nice for a $13 phone. I got it for $13, so. Yeah, let's peel this off. Ooh, 
I like that sound. Alright, so looks pretty nice. They have really big key buttons. Um, yeah, fair keypad feedback. Kind of clicky. Alright, so let's take off the back and put in the battery. Uh, I believe it's somewhere here. Oh, there we go. Alright. Crack it open, you see there's two SIM card slots. Wait. Uh, hmm. I think... Yeah, it's supposed to be, it's a dual SIM here, so there's supposed to be two SIM card and basically this um, micro SD symbol there too, so yeah, I think that's what I put, let's put the battery in first, put the battery in, where is it, put it here, alright, close the back, a nice camera with a flash, pretty good, it's basically, it looks like a non-smart, like non-smart smartphone, alright, let's turn this off. See if there's any power in the site. He still has some power in the battery. That's really good. Oh, I like the startup screen. Alright, right away you're being greeted with 12 o'clock. The date is now right, of course. I'll fix that later. Uh, menu. Yeah, you have the basic function. This is like um one of those like phones for grandparents. It's like really big keyboard and Really big text, everything, everything is so big and easy to tell. Yeah, it's a really nice phone. It feels really good. It doesn't actually feel quite cheap. Not as cheap as you thought it would be. You know, this feels actually really good. Oh, I need to put the, that thing in. There we go. You hear the crack. Alright, this is not actually feel. It feels actually pretty premium, actually. It feels really good in the hand. It doesn't feel like a $30 phone or something, but yeah, if you want a budget phone, you should consider this. This is actually pretty good. Uh, let's check out the TV function. Mm. No, I don't think we can play in here. This is like different countries and stuff. Yeah, so. It's basically function on messaging, contact, multimedia, multimedia, blue club, setting, call history, TV, organizer. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a really good phone. Let's test out the camera. That's what you... I think it's right here. Yep. The camera is... It's pretty bad compared to modern smartphones. But it will work if you... But it will work if you just... You know. Like this type of stuff. Alright, so overall this is a really good phone. For the surprise, it's really good. I recommend this to all of my friends who's looking... As a cheap budget phone, just for like maybe you're traveling to other countries, or yeah, you have you need another phone with you, like a secondary phone, backup phone, or you give this to your grandparents or somebody who don't use smartphone. This is a really good phone. You can get in different color, uh, like black and just like you can get in like black, blue, all the other different colors, pink. Yeah, it's really nice for its price. All right, this is pretty much it. Thanks for watching. This is Y Fans Tech. Peace out.